The South Auditorium. The drama department had a reign of this stage not too long ago, but now it is the AP chemistry class's turn to have control with their very own performance. It's called AP Chem Demo Day. Whoa! Demo Day is full of such explosions, but why would such a performance exist? Mr. Just, the AP chemistry teacher, sheds light on the reason for the performance. Well, a number of years ago, I thought that it would be interesting to have kids do a lot of the demonstrations and experiments that, that teachers usually do. And I thought it would, might be a real good way to engage the kids and get them interested in, in science. And for those of us who don't know what AP Chem is, it's a college-level class, and one of the more challenging ones offered here at South, and it prepares you for the AP Chem test in May. If you get a passing grade, you receive college credit. Bridget Nelson, a senior and survivor of AP Chem, explains her experience with Demo Day. I love Demo Day. It was so much fun. It was a chance for everybody to show our skills. It was, I don't know, it was a rush. It was fun to, I know it sounds corny, but to be on stage and kind of show off something other besides like singing, dancing, but like stuff that explodes. Although the thought of an AP class may sound like a daunting task, the experience gained is well worth the time and effort put in. Senior Kale Nelson tells us what the class is actually like. Um, it's pretty fun for the most part. We, we don't really do too many labs, but the labs we do are really fun and it's it's quite a bit of work, but I think it's going to pay off at the end of the year. One of the labs the students must complete is Demo Day. Actually, the students will have somewhere between two to four labs they must partake in. Mitch Nord, one of the AP Chem students, explains the experiments he performed. Then I'm doing um, hydrogen bubbles with kale, and uh, uh, we're going to create bubbles out of hy or with you know hydrogen gas. I'm going to set them on fire, and they go kaboom, and then. The last experiment is classified. I'm not allowed to tell you that. It seems that every year the AP Chem crew tries to add something new to the routine. Most likely, it will involve fire. The teenage student re usually responds to things that are quite exothermic, things that give off a lot of energy. They like flash, they like bang, they like boom. You hope that things go right all the time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for a relaxing montage of flowing reds, yellows, and oranges. With six performances over, it's time to call it a day. As the AP cameras were cleaning up, we thought it would be fun to hear what tales they had to tell. Well, we got to skip school, basically, and save everything for Sunday night for homework, yeah. Um, I think it went really well, and all. Um, we lit some things on fire that weren't supposed to be on fire. Well, there was one with a uh, dragon's breath, a uh, girl almost lit her face on fire, but other than that, it was pretty good. Alright, well, I think one thing that went wrong <laughs> today was I almost blew my face off. Um, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Well, that's another demo day to go down in the books, and it's only the second one over here at South. Remember, if you want to be a part of Demo Day or learn more about chemistry, sign up for AP Chemistry. Registration is not far away. Well, hope you enjoyed Demo Day. Hope, hope the school is still standing. This has been Jack Stout with Cody Olson for the South Side.